welcome to Brooke Does Yoga. My name is Brooke, let's do some yoga together. This video is a technique to help you release. Anything that is not serving you right now, whether that is physical tension, maybe you've been traveling or you've just been sitting a lot or you did a really strong workout and you're feeling some residual soreness and tension in your body. Maybe you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed or you've been dealing with heavy stuff or whatever it may be. If you have some uh, emotional or mental sort of feelings that you want to release and let go of, this will help you with all of that. So without further ado, for this practice, you don't need anything special at all. You can use your mat if this is a uh, way that you help your body know that you're in a safe and comfortable space to help look inside and feel into your body. That can be helpful if you don't have your mat or don't want your mat right now. You don't need it. You don't need any other props, just you and your body. So whether you are at home or in a hotel room or hiding from your kids in your bathroom, <laughs> you can do this video and get a quick uh, release through the body, mind, and spirit. The only thing you really need is enough space to reach your arms out. If you are in a smaller space and you don't have a full wingspan length, that's totally fine. You'll just want to bend your elbows. We're going to start standing and find yourself with your feet planted nice and strong. Let yourself feel really grounded into the earth. Notice where the weight is on the feet and see if you can even it out. And then place your hands somewhere on the body. That could just be right on the legs. That could be hands to the heart, hands together, maybe one hand on the belly or both hands on the belly. Anything that feels good to you today. And to start with, just let the eyes close. Just to help us start to bring the attention inward. And for a moment here, just notice, just bring some awareness to how you feel right now. And if it's helpful to assign a word or a label to that feeling, then feel free to do so. But you don't have to. It's okay to just be aware of the feelings and sensations in the body and the mind right now. Good. And then now think about how you want to feel physically, mentally, emotionally. Again, it might be helpful to think of specific words. It might be best just to imagine that feeling in your body, in your heart. Hold on to that concept, that image, that feeling of how you want to feel. And let your practice today direct you towards that state. Good. Let the eyes gently flutter open. Let the arms come down by the sides of the body. And this is a technique I like to call a shake and release. It's like the Taylor Swift technique. We're going to shake it off. Don't tell her I said that. She is not sponsoring this video. All right, let's get started. We're going to start by just moving the arms. Swing the arms from side to side. Let this be really easy. The arms might even slap the sides of your body. Let the feet stay planted. A little bend in the knees here. And you can play with how high the arms go or how low. And just try to find a sense of joy here. You can close the eyes if that feels good to you. 
and maybe you try swinging the arms in different patterns. Really let the arms be heavy. Let your shoulder joint be loose as we just shake through the upper body here. And then as your arms are swinging, maybe they come all the way up overhead and you reach through your fingertips and then they swing back down. See if you can swing your arms in different directions and different patterns. And try to find that sense of joy in the body that we have when we're kids. Like when you spin around over and over again until your fingers go numb and you're dizzy. That sort of sense as a child that your body is fun and easy. Good, and then one more reach up high, exhale, let the arms swing down, and then let that go. Good, bend your knees, and start to just bend and straighten through the knees. Maybe playing with the weight on the feet as you do that, the arms can keep swinging if that feels good. Good. Maybe they bend sort of side to side. Maybe they go really up and down and start to make this movement a little bit faster. So it becomes more like a bounce. Yeah, getting some spring into the lower joints of the body, the ankles, the knees, maybe even a little bit in the hips here. Good, and then this bounce starts to heighten and we might start to come up on the toes, adding the feet into this little bounce. So the balls of my feet are still planted, but my heels, my knees, my ankles are moving. Good. And then this gets even bigger and we might start to hop a little bit. Good, letting the knees stay soft here. Letting the feet move separately. We might even move the body a little bit in a circle. Maybe the legs move separately. Good, just some little hops. Let the hips get involved and move a little bit. Nice. Plant the feet back down nice and strong. Take a moment to notice any shifts. Check in with how you want to feel. Good. Feet are planted, you're grounded, you're strong. Soften into your knees. And then start to bend and straighten each knee one at a time. The weight might kind of start to shift, your hips might start to move. And again, we're gonna start to make this a little bit faster so that we start to move into kind of a shimmy or a shake Letting the body be really soft, letting the shoulders shimmy, the hips shimmy, along with the legs. As fast or as slow as feels right for you, I'd be willing to say that faster will probably give you a little bit more sense of release. Good. Feet are planted, legs shake, 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 shake. Whew. Hips shake, let your ribs move from side to side. Let the shoulder girdle be loosey goosey. Let the arms flop by your sides wherever they go. Hopefully you're in a safe space where no one is watching you and you can just look weird. Good, let the head and the neck now get involved in a way that feels safe. Just let the head and the neck 
sort of bobble head around here. And right now all of the energy is kind of being directed from the legs. Start to add a little bit more action in the upper body as well. So that instead of being sort of a passive rider on the, uh, the actions of the legs, your upper body is initiating some of this action. Don't forget about your head and your neck up there. Good. And then this might start to turn into some bigger movements, hinging at the hips. You can see what that feels like. What does it feel like to do this sort of shaking motion while you're leaned over? And maybe you keep shaking and do a little back bend. What does that feel like? And you can sort of take turns focusing on different sections of the body, arms, maybe legs, and maybe now you start to pick the feet up Ooh. and shake the feet a little bit. Don't forget about the rest of your body. The arms might come overhead. Maybe you take a moment to focus on the ribs. Give your ribs a little shake. Try to move all four corners of your ribs, front, back, side to side. Good. Can you shake in a side bend? And another side bend. This is kind of like a monkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, sort of getting in touch with that creative, childlike joy of movement. And this might start to turn into some bigger movements. And as you shake, you can imagine shaking off anything that you don't want that is not serving you. Whether that is an emotion, a thought, body tension, just imagine it flinging off your body like a dog shaking itself after a bath. Good, and then eventually, once you feel complete, just start to let the movement peter out a little bit. Notice if there's anything else that feels like it didn't get enough of a shake. And eventually all of this movement will start to come into stillness. And you'll find yourself back where you started with a nice strong stance. Place your hands somewhere on your body and just take a moment to notice the energy moving through your body. And check in with how you want to feel your intention for this practice. And don't assign any judgment to this check-in at all. There's no good or bad. Good, and 
then if the eyes are closed, let the eyes start to flutter open. And find yourself back in the present. Hopefully you feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more connected to your body, and a little bit more free. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Namaste.